and we look back in 10 years' time, we'll see that was the opportunity that people who didn't jump on the bandwagon have missed. Welcome to Sigma 2019. And joining me now is Dave Police, CEO of ZBX. Dave, great to see you here. Thank you for having me. So there is a huge buzz on the expo floor today, and I think a lot of anticipation is looking ahead to the Manila in June 2020, where Sigma will have their first showcase. When we look at the Asian market and the opportunities there, as someone that's working within a European jurisdiction, what kind of opportunities are we seeing? Well, the European jurisdiction obviously has embraced gaming, has embraced the industry, and it's quite mature here, much more than any other, other continent, including the US, Africa, obviously, and also Asia. Asia's coming together with regards to regulation, still, um, and there needs to be also be consolidation of industry as well, consolidation with regards to how payments are done, which is what our company is also stepping into right now since we're a crypto exchange by, uh, you know, by design. So we do look forward to stepping into Asian territories because we feel that that is the lowest hanging fruit because there isn't much competition in, in, in the first place. So I think Manila would be a very interesting proposition for us. And when we look at opportunities, as you mentioned there, there is huge potential. Um, and we do try to identify the East, east meets West um, situation. What kind of things are Asian organizations really looking for from European counterparts? Well, I can just quote our own story. So uh, like the ZB group of exchanges was in Asia, or it still is in Asia. And we set up ZBX because in Europe, we have a bit of a stronger regulation. We have the banking infrastructure and we can offer also securities and other well-established financial products. With regards to gaming, the story is really the same, one of the same. So with regards to European companies who want to establish a base in Asia, it is probably a big, the biggest market right now. So as I said, the lowest hanging fruit. And for Asian businesses that are already operating, they want to have a much deeper understanding how the industry works in a mature jurisdiction Europe, obviously, it's, it's the uh, jurisdiction of choice, especially places like Malta. So one, uh, East meets West, I think it's probably what we would call, like the, uh, I, I used to call it before the same, like the Genesis one. There's going to be what Bitcoin was in 2007, where things are developing, but when we look forward and we look back in 10 years time, we'll see that was the opportunity that people who didn't jump on the bandwagon have missed. And that is a final fantastic statement from you. So we'll see you in June of next year. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. Well, that's all for myself and Dave Police. We'll see you very soon in Manila in June 2020.